I'm here at Hidden Gem Video Games. I'm gonna try and take this Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Master Edition Collector's Edition home for my collection. Tune in and let's see what happens. Hidden Gem Video Games is a brand new store in Orange County, California. They have a great selection of everything from the newest releases to high-end retro classics, as well as toys, collectibles, clothing, and so much more. I knew that Punky had a copy of the game, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but he had the Master Sword Edition for sale in the shop. As soon as I knew this, I said, hold that for me. I wanna see if we can work out a trade. In order to make this trade work, I'm bringing everything that I can from my personal collection and also all the stuff that I have to resell. And I'm gonna see if we can make a trade happen. I think um, anything that's a display piece for the store always looks cool. We'll yeah. start with this. That's okay. awesome. The box N64 controller. Now, let me clarify. The one I got at Game On Expo was an upgrade. So this, upgrade. this one is my old one. And this one is still in good shape. And it's got the R Zone sticker on it. What is that? Can you tell me a little bit of that? Song of the Deep. This was yeah. a GameStop exclusive PS4 game from Insomnia. And it just <laughs> sort of sputtered. It didn't really do much. But. Um, it's the sealed collector's edition of it. I like this game, but I just don't know that I need the collector's edition for it. This is the Blaze Blue uh, fight stick for the 360. I've literally never seen this except for me having it. I recently got the Tatsunoko versus Capcom fight for stick the Wii, cool. for the Wii, and I just was like, I'm gonna. I don't have room for both. This is the Dragon's Lair PS4. Uh, collector's edition from Limited, Limited Run, Run Games. Mm -hmm. I loved the idea of this when I got it, but I just never opened it, I never played it, and then I think like, since I didn't grow up with Dragon's Lair, I'm fine with the $5 download rather than this beautiful, even though the artwork's beautiful, and actually it's super great. I'm tempted to not trade this anymore. There's that, I do have some 3DS stuff for you today. Sweet. And um, yeah, I think that's let's all Let's make great. a deal. For me, this is one of the Legend of Zelda items I really want still for my collection, and it's a very high value item. What are you asking for on this right now? Um, I believe the asking price was somewhere between five to seven hundred dollars. You got yeah. okay. five to seven. So between five and seven, let's pick a number. Well, the problem is you know that it's not new, it's not sealed, but yeah. it is open, but everything inside is uh, new. Everything is sealed except for the stand. Okay. But I think the, the price would be 600, so yeah. that's a good price. Monkey, what are you interested in trades? And I'll tell you what I got value-wise in some of this stuff. Sure, I like this. Dragon's Lair Trilogy that he did not want to trade away, so now I have to have it from him. Nah. All the 3DS games that he has here. I think there was a couple of Dreamcasts I would love for the store. Nah, Sonic nah. of the Deep. Ori. It's not like you said Sonic of the Deep. I did say Sonic. Yeah. You gotta edit that one out. I left it in. This is Blast Blues controller. Yeah. And um, Mario yeah. Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Okay. And the controller box. Since we're doing trades, I usually just go eBay for eBay on sure. the trade, right? Mm -hmm. I've got this at 200. Um, this does not have the game. It's just the statue. Okay. okay. So I got this at 50. This one I have, and it's either 150 or two. I haven't looked it up in a while. It could be even lower. So. I'm gonna say 150 for now, but I want to look this up before we go. That sounds so, good. Got this at 100 for these three. Okay. Man, since it's not Ultra Sun, I think I got this at 20 or 25. 15, 15, 15, 45, and 15, 16. This controller box, I'm just gonna give to you if you're store. Perfect. My welcome gift. To Thank you. you. I think that's a very fair trade, but you know what? I, I wanted to know the difference between these two. Do you think Song of the Deep? or Ori would be a better pick. Ori would be a better pick. Do you think so? The Song of the Deep is is cool in, in a lot of respects, but it just got flooded. Every <laughs> yeah, I, I think though, in my in my opinion, I think this in the long term will be more valuable Absolutely. than this. Yeah. But in the short term, people might be more interested in this. All right, let's stick with Ori, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Let me clarify some values on some of this stuff. We're gonna lock it down, but it looks like we're gonna be able to walk out of here with a good trade. I am so excited to add this to the collection. Let me show you what's inside. First up is this Sheikah Slate Nintendo Switch case that came with this set. We have a map of uh, Hyrule, this really cool Zelda coin, a sealed copy of the soundtrack, and lastly, there's a factory sealed copy of the game. Of note, the back artwork is actually different. This is exclusive to the Master Edition of the game itself. There's no gameplay differences, it's just the artwork. However, the thing that I'm most excited about in this set is the Master Sword itself. I've got this out on display in my game room. It's from the game itself when Link finds the sword. It's a little shorter than I thought it was going to be, but I love having this out in the game room. I think it looks awesome. A couple of video games caught my eye while I was there. Jesse swore by the game Red Asphalt. He said it's a great car combat type of a game. Of particular note, Red Asphalt is actually the sequel to the game Rock and Roll Racing. I trust Jesse. I'm gonna give this a try. He said it's one of his favorite PS1 games. And the game that I've been looking for for a long time on the Nintendo DS 
SBK or Snowboard Kids. Snowboard Kids is one of my favorite N64 racing games. It's a great Mario Kart on snowboards type of a game. It's not like 1080 where you're doing lots of crazy tricks. You're shooting objects at each other. I've heard this game is not the best, but that's what they said about Snowboard Kids as well when it came out. So I'm excited to try this one out. They ditched the arcade cartoony looking art style of the first games and went with more of a realistic art style for this game, but that's okay. As long as it plays cool and is fun, I'm happy to add this to the collection. So I've had an awesome visit here at Hidden Gems Video Games. Punky, amazing store, man. Thank you. I also got these two Amiibos, which I didn't have for my collection, and also this Shy Guy, because my kids are gonna love this. And I traded all of this stuff. I wanna wish Punky and the whole crew at Hidden Gem Video Games all the best in their new adventures as a store. And I wanna thank you for the awesome trade that we were able to do. I'm so excited to add these things to my collection. But before we leave, it's time for the ceremonial trading of the jerseys. The nerd jerseys, or nerseys. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. If you're ever in the Orange County area, make sure to come visit Hidden Gem Video Games in Fountain Valley, California. I'll see you next time. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah.